Fargo is the International Economic Affairs Vice President for the National Association of Manufacturers. Here to talk about improving U.S. manufacturing by increasing exports. It's an initiative that the President laid out in his State of the Union address to double U.S. exports over the next five years. How's he doing? We have a long way to go, but uh, a good start has been made. You know, Greta, I think the most important thing is that the President has laid out a goal of doubling exports. And that's the first time we've had a national goal. And in order to reach this goal, the government has to do a lot, manufacturers have to do a lot, and the general public has to get a stronger export orientation. For so many uh, decades, the United States has just not been that strong an exporter. You know, historically, we were very fortunate to grow up as a continental economy, and our companies uh, started to sell across the, uh, the United States. And so many of them didn't feel they had to sell around the world. But you take German companies or Japanese companies, and they've always known their domestic markets were too small. They had to export. So we need a stronger export orientation. The first step is set the goal. The next step is how do you reach the goal? And how is that, in your opinion? Well, the uh, National Association of Manufacturers, uh, representing about 90% of all U.S. manufacturing, went out to its members and we asked them, what, what would it take for each of you to double your exports? And what we came back with uh, was a program with a lot of different steps, fixing a lot of things that the United States has, has not done that well, frankly. And we believe, yes, uh, we can double exports. One of the most important things, and many of your, your viewers will be surprised to hear this, is we have to have more bilateral trade agreements because we face so many trade barriers around the world while we are a very open market. Another thing we need to do is to fix uh, our export controls. You know, we don't let so many high technology products be exported because we don't, didn't want the Soviet Union to get them. Well, the Soviet Union is gone, but the export controls are still there. The United States, just as another example, is virtually the only country that is still not on the metric system. And if we wait around for the rest of the world to leave the metric system, it's not going to happen, you know. This is another reason why our exports are uh, not as large as they ought to be. We just have to realize the rest of the world has their tastes, their standards, and we have to meet them. Okay, so give me an example of the metric system and its impact on exports. If uh, you are a, a German company, you're used to the metric system, and I come along and say, well, I'm going to sell you this. It's in, it's in inches and quarter inches and 30 seconds of an inch. And moreover, uh, all my instructions are in English, and I'm not going to translate that in, into German. You know, that, that doesn't work. An email from a viewer. How much of American product made by people making $10 an hour can you sell to people making a dollar a day? You know, um, People say, how can you compete with somebody making a dollar a day? And the way you compete is because of all of the capital equipment we have. The, you know, the American, American says, well, you can't compete with a Chinese worker making a dollar a day. And the Chinese worker says, well, how can I compete with somebody who's standing in front of, of a million dollars of, of auto, automated machinery? We're very competitive in, in uh, some areas. Um, China can't compete with us in those. In other areas, you know, we have a very difficult time of competing. So what we need to do is to really see that world barriers get down for the products that we make efficiently so we can sell a lot more of them and hire a lot more Americans to make them. Here's another viewer via email. If you're saying opening trade barriers would produce 2 million jobs, where are the jobs being created? In other countries? No, absolutely not. When we export... That means we produce products here in the United States and we sell them around the world. And we are really exporting about half of what we ought to be. So again, we're very pleased with the president's goal. But the task now is doing the metrics. How Really, what does the goal come down to in dollar size that has to be achieved in the next five years? And what would all the different things that we could do be worth? Will they add up to uh, what we need to doubling the exports? And we have our proposal. It's on our website at uh, www.nam.org uh, in the trade section. Take a look at it. 
Others may have different ideas, but if the administration and the Congress did what the NAM, the National Association of Manufacturers, recommends, we will double exports. Tweet here from a viewer who, sells, who, who asks, tell us one thing that we make that Chinese cannot or are not producing. Uh, very large commercial aircraft. Boeing makes the best in the world. Huge power generating equipment. Many other, a lot of uh, uh, chemicals that the Chinese cannot make, a lot of specialty plastics, pharmaceuticals, medical devices, instrumentation, and on and on and on.